every single one of us craves and needs love. And it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a man, woman. It doesn't matter if you are a child or an adult. As humans, we need love. And we seek it. And there's a zombie pigman here to interrupt me. But that's besides the point. The point is we are all looking for love in some way, shape, or form. And we're not all looking for love in the same capacity, of course. Some of us look for love in the more romantic sense. Others look for a companionship, a brotherly love or a sisterly love, something of the sort. But we are all looking for love. But there is one thing about love that people don't tell you. And this one especially reigns true in the romantic version of love. And that is that you need to love yourself first before you can love others. Now, this is a statement that people seem to not really fully comprehend. And you hear it a lot in life, but no one really explains to you what that means. It kind of just people assume that you know. But loving yourself is not just necessarily loving who you are. Loving yourself can be as simple as allowing yourself to have a snack every once in a while. If you are one of those people who has an issue with their weight. Loving yourself can be giving yourself a break after working nonstop for eight to nine hours. Loving yourself can mean a lot of things. And in order to love others, in order to give others that type of a break and that sort of empathy in terms of love, you have to be able to do that for yourself first. And the easiest way to really put this into perspective is romantic relationships. Romantic relationships require a lot of time, effort, and of course, love. They require the utmost of people to, in order to succeed. And when you can't give it your all for a relationship, they tend to fail. It's no secret that I recently broke up with my girlfriend a few months ago as of the time of this upload. All right, hold on, we're being interrupted by... No, don't you kill my... All right, seriously? Okay, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to have a heartfelt conversation with the viewers here. And one of the main reasons that that relationship failed was that I couldn't put in effort in that relationship. But there's a part of me that's also in a state where I think that I didn't love myself enough to be able to love her. And to be clear, this was not one of the driving factors for the breakup, but it did play a small part. The way I mentioned that you need to be able to give yourself a break when you work too much. I wouldn't give myself a break when I work too much. And I feel like in that same light, if she came to me and said, I can't take any more of this work after, let's say working less time than I had on any given day. Let's say she was doing a six hour shift and I was doing a nine hour one. And she came to me and said, you know what? I need a break. I can't do any more work. I'm like, I'm struggling here. My first immediate thought might've been, you know, suck it up. I worked nine hours and I'm not complaining. And of course I would never say something like that to her. Of course I would never shame her for being tired per se, but it's a thought that crosses your mind as a person when you don't love yourself and you don't take care of yourself the way that others take care of themselves. You find that certain things that other people do are either unnecessary or, or not at the same standards as you. But in reality, your standards might be the ones that are wrong or somewhat just more unhealthy. And now, while in my case, I don't believe that that was ever an argument in my relationship. I think that could very much be the truth in a relationship of yours. You criticizing yourself for a behavior that leads to you criticizing your partner for a behavior. Things like that. That's what I mean. That's what we mean here by loving yourself. Don't allow the, the lack of love that you show yourself to affect people that you surround yourself with or people that you love. And right now I'm not loving this creeper right next to my cows. An example would be me and these two cows. These two cows are pretty dumb. They can't figure out how and where I want them to go. And it's kind of a difficult situation because I need them to go in a certain direction. If I don't show them with this piece of wheat, also, okay, seriously, bro. Okay, I'm trying to fucking describe this to people, but you guys are fumbling my bag. Why is there 400 zombies around here? Anyway, as I was saying, an example would be these two cows. Let's say these two cows are people you love and you want to love them and you obviously want them to love you, but it's hard because you can't just love people by telling them you love them. You have to show them that you love them. For these cows, their love language is this piece of wheat. If I give one of these cows this piece of wheat, it has a little love effect. But if I don't, 
Like this one over here, this one is just kind of waiting for the love and affection and just turns away. That's the same thing, by the way, for yourself. You have to give yourself a break. You have to give yourself love in order for somebody else to love you. Because, hold on, I need another piece of wheat. So now in that same light, if you give yourself the love that you deserve, you will be able to actually reciprocate and give your partner the love that they deserve. And, you know, you might be able to like these cows and have a little cow baby. But more importantly, you'll be happy. You'll become like these cows and then have something beautiful happen. But in all seriousness, I hope that example makes sense. You get what you give. And in this particular case, if you and the person you love gave each other the proper amount of love, then something beautiful like this might happen. Let's see if we can get you in there, though. I don't know if he fits through there. Come on. Can you? There you go. All right. All right. And on that note, let's go play some Minecraft. I think I might need to make a new, a new sword. I either need to go mining or I need to go to my house and get iron because I think it's time for nether exploration. Another thing you should note, by the way, is that when you're on the journey of loving yourself, you have to be careful not to hurt others. Because I see a lot of people that go on the, oh, the self-love journey and I'm in my self-love era. You, you're not trying to do that. Don't be like those cringy girls on Instagram that just post about it and then just end up being assholes, right? The thing about self-love is that you can't flex it. You have to just do it. Don't post about it on social media. Seriously, don't. Because there's no reason for it. There's no reason for you to go to everyone you know and tell them, oh, I'm in my self-love era and I am... Um, I'm helping myself do this. Like, there's no point. I think that just kind of defeats the purpose because then you're trying to show people that you love yourself. The only person you need to show that you love yourself to, by the way, is yourself. In fact, the good thing to do when you're trying to learn to love yourself is to get off social media entirely. Social media is the bane of your existence, I promise you, when it comes to things like that. Maybe you can't get rid of it completely, but definitely put it on a do not disturb mode. You know, definitely put those notifications on mute. Because it's very hard to love yourself when you're comparing yourself to other people. Especially people that have photoshopped the shit out of themselves to make themselves look pretty, showcase their lifestyle. What is happening here, buddy? Okay, that was interesting. It's a nearly impossible to love yourself when you're watching people who claim to love themselves and they just flex on social media. Those people don't love themselves. Don't make that mistake. Those people are imposters. Those people are the red sus imposter in Among Us, okay? Those people are just seeking your attention, okay? And they don't deserve your attention right now. You deserve your own attention. Oh, wait, there's a cow over there that just cooked itself. Can I have the meat? Damn it. All right, no meat for me here. Just a skeleton that wants to touch me. Anyway, and you have to also be careful not to hurt other people in your self-loving journey or whatever because i've seen a lot of people a lot of friends of mine that went on that journey and came back just assholes came back just narcissists that's not the goal here the goal here is to get yourself out of a mindset that is both a detriment to you and a detriment to others but by going the route of full-on just it's all about me you end up going in the narcissism being a detriment to, to others route anyway there's no point in doing that. If you're going to go and try and self-love yourself and just end up hating everybody else instead, that's going to make it 10 times worse, I believe. The final thing I want to kind of say about this matter, especially on the more the family side, is don't excuse your family, by the way. Your family also has to be in that same level of learning how to love you and you learning how to love them. Your family is also responsible for understanding that you might need some time. You might need to understand how to love yourself. And they might tell you that they love you. They might tell you that, you know, you are loved, this and that. But the reality is you need yourself to believe this. And they're being helpful, by the way. This helps when you have that support system. Some people don't have that. But you need to be able to rely on yourself as well. You can't always rely on other people because people are unreliable. And that is true for you too. You are going to be unreliable to yourself. But... You are the only one that can control how reliable you are to yourself. I'm going to repeat that in case it doesn't really make sense right now. You are the one that fully controls how reliable you are to yourself. If let's say you have a morning routine, right? You rely on yourself to complete that morning routine every single day. And if you don't, it's your own fault. No one helped you there. No one is going to help you there. It's your morning routine. It's your morning. It's you getting up out of bed. It's you needing to make your bed and brush your teeth. For if you don't do those things, you let yourself down. 
by the way, on a complete side note, does anybody else have this thing in Minecraft where if you start killing too many animals, you're like kind of low-key scared for the ecosystem of the place that you're killing all the animals for? I swear to God, like I genuinely have an issue when I start cutting too many trees or too many... Oh, hello, Spider-Man. Not, these are not the ones I'm talking about, by the way, not the mobs. But when I start cutting, like, too many trees or I start killing too many cows, I have this, like, weird feeling inside me that I'm, like, destroying the environment. And it's so messed up because this is not... This is just completely a fake environment that was created by a computer. But yeah, I think it's nether time after this because all I needed from here really was some food. So I can go to the nether. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Well, that kind of just screws it up for me. So in the comments right now, I need you all to type what you've done recently to love yourself. And it can be, like I said, something as simple as you allowed yourself to have a snack. It can be something as simple as you went out and had fun with your friends. It can be something as simple as you giving yourself enough time to sleep and get refreshed, even though you didn't get all your homework done because it simply just wasn't feasible. You just couldn't figure it out in time. Those things are all okay. Um, now I have to find out a way through the nether without passing away. I hear a ghast. I want to get, you know what? All right, my goal for the end of this video is to get the return to sender achievement. That's all I want. I hear so many ghasts too. All right. I guess this could be like my little pathway. Where are these ghasts? I hear them. Oh, there's one. Come here, gas gamers. Hello. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. It's too far away. These guys are so shit at aiming at me. Just stop moving for a second. Oh my god, seriously? Come on, come on! No! I was so close! You're done. You're done for, buddy. You're sh you're kidding me. Just, just take it. Take it back. Return to sender. Come on. Yes! Let's go! Okay, I didn't get the achievement, I don't think. But it doesn't matter because I saw it in my heart. Here, I'll, I'll add it on the screen or something. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching yet another Yap session. I really hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, love yourself, damn it. So, good night and good luck. Damn it.